great. Good afternoon, and I'm going to do a good job on moderating this group and keeping them in time constraints. So if I say Elmo, that means for them, enough already, let's move on. So if I Elmo them, just laugh with me with it. So we're going to do a, a different format where we're going to actually sit down and be more conversational. I'm going to ask a couple of questions of our panelists, and I'll share what we do at the Charleston Center. But before I do that, I want to kind of set the stage of how our conversation is going to go. So we're all part of the Charleston County Criminal Justice Coordinating Council, and when we were applying for the initial grant um, with the Safety Justice Challenge, we did a lot of data collecting. And through that data collecting, we saw that through our detention center, we had a lot of familiar faces and a lot of people that were at risk of being familiar faces of cycling through the detention center over and over and over. And so we wanted to get to what were the root causes of why people kept on coming through our detention center over and over. And so we did focus groups with law enforcement and we did focus groups with people that were in our detention centers. We actually talked to people that were being detained. And some of the root causes that were identified were, of course, substance use disorders, mental illness, and issues related to homelessness. So what we're going to share is our perspectives on our work that we do with this population. And I'm going to have two really easy slides. So the first one is um, looking at all of the different points that someone that, when they come into the criminal justice system, the various points that they may um, enter in at. And so there's law enforcement, emergency services, post-arrest post-initial hearing, <coughs> re-entry from jails and state prisons, and back into community corrections and community supports. And our goal up here with our panel is to stay at the very top, above law enforcement, at the top of the funnel before people even come through the funnel. And so that's going to kind of be the basis of our conversation that we have up here. So with that, I'll talk really briefly about the Charleston Center, and then I'll sit down and join my panelists. So Charleston Center is Charleston County's Department of Alcohol and Other Drug Abuse Services, and we provide full continuum of services from detox services, inpatient services, outpatient services. We have a number of programs that work with criminal justice services that I'll um, talk about in a moment. We provide prevention in the community, and we also pro provide a lot of medication-assisted treatment. We do a lot of education at health fairs um, and with individuals who, have, who may have um, gotten involved with the criminal justice system. Uh, we have programs in our detention center. We have six counselors embedded in the detention center. We do adult drug court, juvenile drug court, pretrial intervention. We've been in this community for years and years and years, and we're often one of the last stops that people come to in order to get their lives together um, when they've hit what some people may call rock bottom. And we work really closely with a number of our community providers to make sure that there isn't barriers in access to care. And with that, I'm going to ask our panelists. Yes. So the slide is from um, Policy Research Institute or Associates. And, and so what it is is it's a, it's a funnel that shows that someone, when they come in at the very top, um, they're all different points of um, where people may interact with the criminal justice system. So at the top level, um, the, the lighter, the purple, I guess that's up at the very top, is the community. And then um, if they get arrested, then they go to the first point, which is with law enforcement and down through the, the funnel. Our goal is always to not have them go into the funnel. So with that, Jeff, tell me quickly about yourself. 